This is a glossary of video game terms which lists the general terms as commonly used in Wikipedia articles related to video games and its industry. Topic 0 to 9 One up An object that gives the player an extra life or try in games where the player has a limited number of chances to complete a game or level 1 cc Abbreviation of one credit clear or one coin completion. The act of completing an arcade game without using more than one credit, i.e., credit feeding, although it can also be applied to any console or PC game that uses some form of continues. The term no continue clear is sometimes used in such instances. The term one LC, one life completion, or no miss clear are used instead when completing a game without losing a life as well if the game has lives. This can be further extended into a no damage clear or no damage completion in games where the player character has a health gauge. Some arcade games offer special ending sequences or challenges when the player achieves a 1cc. 1v1 Abbreviation of 1 versus 1, which means two players battling against each other. See player versus player. 2D graphics Graphic rendering technique in a two-dimensional perspective, often using sprites. 2.5D graphics Graphic rendering technique of three-dimensional objects set in a two-dimensional plane of movement. 3D graphics Graphic rendering technique featuring three-dimensional objects. 4X A genre of strategic video games, short for Explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. 8-bit A descriptor for hardware or software that arose during the third generation of video game consoles, targeting 8-bit computer architecture. 16-bit A descriptor for hardware or software that arose during the fourth generation of video game consoles, targeting 16-bit computer architecture. 32-bit a descriptor for hardware or software that arose during the fifth generation of video game consoles, targeting 32-bit computer architecture. 64-bit A descriptor for hardware or software that arose during the fifth generation of video game consoles, targeting 64-bit computer architecture. A AAA Also AAA a high-budget game with a large development team, or game studios that make them. AAA games are usually multi-platform, have multi-million dollar budgets, and expect to sell millions of copies. Abandonware The idea of a game being forgotten about or abandoned by its developers for any number of reasons, including copyright issues. Act Sometimes used to refer to individual levels or groups of levels that make up a larger world or storyline. Action game A game genre emphasizing physical challenges, hand-eye coordination and reflexes. It includes fighting games, shooters, and platformers. Action point AP. A subunit of a player's turn. For example, a game may allow an action to occur only so long as the player has sufficient action points to complete the action. Action role-playing game A genre of role-playing video game where battle actions are performed in real-time instead of a turn-based mechanic Actions per minute APM. The total number of actions the player can perform in a minute. Most professional-level players train with an emphasis on high APM in addition to raw skill. Ads Commonly used in role-playing video game and MMORPGs where the boss calls in for reinforcements to help them take down the party members. Adventure game A game genre which emphasizes exploration and puzzle solving. AFK Away from keyboard. Generally said through a chat function in online multiplayer games when a player intends to be temporarily unavailable. The term BRB be right back from texting is also used, although whether these two terms are interchangeable varies from person to person. Aggro An abbreviation of aggravation or aggression, causing aggro in a video game means to attract hostile attention from NPCs to attack the player character. Managing aggro involves keeping aggressive NPCs from overwhelming the player or party. 
The term may be facetiously used in reference to irritated bystanders wife agro, mother agro, etc. Also see hate. Aimbot A first-person shooter cheat that lets players shoot other player characters without aiming. In most cases, the aiming reticle locks onto a target within the player's line of sight and the player only has to pull the trigger. Aimbots are one of the most popular cheats in multiplayer FPS, used since 1996's Quake. Compared to the feature auto-aim, aiming down sights adds. Also aim down sights, refers to the common alternate method of firing a gun in a first-person shooter FPS game, typically activated by the right mouse button. The real-life analog is when a person raises a rifle up and places the stock just inside the shoulder area, and leans their head down so they can see in a straight line along the top of the rifle, through both of the iron sights or a scope, if equipped. In most games this greatly increases accuracy, but can limit vision, situational awareness, mobility, and require a small amount of time to change the weapon position. Alpha release An initial, incomplete version of a game. Alpha versions are usually released early in the development process to test a game's most critical functionality and prototype design concepts. Compare with beta release. Always on DRM. A type of digital rights management DRM that typically requires a connection to the internet while playing the game. Analog stick. Also control stick and thumbstick, a small variation of a joystick, usually placed on a game controller to allow a player more fluent two-dimensional input than is possible with a D-pad. Animatic A partially animated storyboard with sound effects used during early game development. Animation priority A type of gameplay mechanic in which the playable character's animations have priority over the player's input, in other words, if the player begins an action with a long animation, the animation must play out first before the player can then enter a new command, and attempting to enter a new command will have no effect. Games like the Souls and Monster Hunter series are based on gameplay using animation priority. Any percent A type of speedrun in which the player's objective is to reach the game's end goal as quickly as possible without regard to the normal intermediate steps. AOI 1. Abbreviation of Area of Effect 2. Abbreviation of Age of Empires arcade game A coin-operated or coin-op game machine, often installed in an upright or tabletop cocktail cabinet. Popular primarily during the late 1980s, arcade machines continue to be manufactured and sold worldwide. Area C level, area of effect AOI, a term used in many role-playing and strategy games to describe attacks or other effects that affect multiple targets within a specified area. For example, in the role-playing game, Dungeons & Dragons, a fireball spell will deal damage to anyone within a certain radius of where it strikes. In most tactical strategy games artillery weapons have an area of effect that will damage anyone within a radius of the strike zone. Area of effect can also refer to spells and abilities that are non-damaging. For example, a powerful healing spell may affect anyone within a certain range of the caster often only if they are a member of the caster's party. Some games also have what are referred to as aura abilities that will affect anyone in the area around the person with the ability. For example, many strategy games have hero or officer units that can improve the morale and combat performance of friendly units around them. The inclusion of AOI elements in game mechanics can increase the role of strategy, especially in turn-based games. The player has to place units wisely to mitigate the possibly devastating effects of a hostile area of effect attack, however, placing units in a dense formation could result in gains that outweigh the increased AOI damage received. Point blank area of effect PBAOE is a less used term for when the affected region is centered on the character performing the ability, rather than at a location of the player's choosing. ARPGC action role-playing game. Artificial intelligence AI algorithms used to generate responsive, adaptive or intelligent game behavior, primarily in non-player characters. Synonymous with, though distinct from, the computing science concept of artificial intelligence, Assault Mode a game mode in which one team tries to attack or capture specific areas and the other team tries to defend those points, asset flipping the practice of creating a game using free art and audio assets, either from an online marketplace or the default stock of assets included with many game engines. Asset flips are often of very poor quality designed to catch onto a currently popular theme or game to turn a quick profit. 
It mimics the practice of flipping in real estate markets, asymmetric gameplay cooperative or competitive multiplayer games in which each player will have a different experience arising from differences in gameplay, controls, or in-game character options that are part of the game. This is in contrast to symmetric gameplay where each player will have the same experience, such as in the game Pong. Asymmetric gameplay often arises in competitive games where one player's character is far overpowered but outnumbered from other players that are all competing against them, such as in Pac-Man vs. Asynchronous gameplay Competitive multiplayer games where the players do not have to be participating at the same time. Such games are usually turn-based, with each player planning a strategy for the upcoming turn, and then having the game resolve all actions of that turn once each player has submitted their strategies. Attract mode. Also display mode and show mode. A pre-recorded demonstration of a video game that is displayed when the game is not being played. Originally built into arcade games, the main purpose of the attract mode is to entice passers-by to play the game. It usually displays the game's title screen, the game's story if it has one, its high score list, sweepstakes on some games, and the message, Game Over, or Insert Coin, over or in addition to a computer-controlled demonstration of gameplay. In Atari home video games of the 1970s and 1980s, the term attract mode was sometimes used to denote a simple screensaver that slowly cycled the display colors to prevent phosphor burn-in while the game was not being played. Attract modes demonstrating gameplay are common in current home video games. Attract mode is not only found in arcade games, but in most coin-operated games like pinball machines, stacker machines and other games. Cocktail arcade machines on which the screen flips its orientation for each player's turn in two-player games traditionally have the screen's orientation in player one's favor for the attract mode. Augmented reality Augmented reality R is an interactive experience of a real-world environment whereby the objects that reside in the real world are augmented by computer-generated perceptual information, sometimes across multiple sensory modalities, including visual, auditory, haptic, somatosensory, and olfactory. The overlaid sensory information can be constructive i.e. additive to the natural environment or destructive i.e. masking of the natural environment and is seamlessly interwoven with the physical world such that it is perceived as an immersive aspect of the real environment. In this way, augmented reality alters one's ongoing perception of a real-world environment, whereas virtual reality completely replaces the user's real-world environment with a simulated one. Augmented reality is related to two largely synonymous terms, mixed reality and computer-mediated reality. Auto-aim Also aim assist, a game mechanic built into some games to decrease the level of difficulty by locking onto or near targets for faster aiming. Games such as the newer Grand Theft Auto titles utilize hard or soft aim settings to respectively either lock directly onto an enemy or assist the player's aim towards the enemy while giving some freedom of precision. Not to be confused with aimbot. Auto run Auto run, short for automatic running, is a system in video games that causes the player character to move forward without input from the user. The system is predominantly used in platform games. Avatar The player's representation in the game world. Topic B Balance Aspects of a multiplayer game that keep it fair for all players. The issue of balanced gameplay is a heavily debated matter among most games player communities. Badge Also achievement, an indicator of accomplishment or skill, showing that the player has performed some particular action within the game. Battle Pass a type of in-game monetization that provides additional content for a game through a tiered system, rewarding the player with in-game items by playing the game and completing specific challenges. Beta release Also beta testing. An early release of a video game, following its alpha release, where the game developer seeks feedback from players and testers to remove bugs prior to the product's commercial release. See also closed beta and open beta. Black Mage a ranged attacker, he or she deals in the arts of elemental and non-elemental attacks. Blue Mage A ranged attacker and supporter, deals in abilities gained by the enemy. Known as Blue Magic. BM 
bad manners conduct that is not considered cheating but may be seen as unsportsmanlike or disrespectful. Some games may elect to punish badly behaved players by assessing game penalties, temporarily blocking them from re-entering play, or banishing them to a playing environment populated solely by other badly behaved players. Board Sea level Boosting DEFN, 1 equals in online multiplayer games that include ranked competitive play, boosting is where a player with a low ranked level has a more skilled player use their account to improve the low ranked character to higher levels. Bonus stage A special level in which the player has a chance to earn extra points or power ups. Often in the form of a mini game. Boss an opponent non-player character in a video game that is typically much more difficult to defeat compared to normal enemies, often at the end of a level or a game. Bot Short for robot. A non-playable character which is controlled by an AI artificial intelligence. The player may compete against or work with a bot to complete objectives. Bottomless pit a dangerous hazard common in platform games, which is a deep void below all the safe places the player character can stand upon, or may be limited to small holes. Falling into this void typically results in instant death and the loss of a life, regardless of how much health he, she had left. Bottomless pits can also serve as obstacles that can be overcome by using abilities or finding alternate routes. Buff 1. An effect placed on a video game character that beneficially increases one or more of their statistics or characteristics for a temporary period. 2. A change intended to strengthen a particular item, tactic, ability, or character, ostensibly for balancing purposes. Compare to nerf. Bullet hell. A type of shoot em up where the player must generally dodge an overwhelmingly large number of enemies and their projectiles. Bullshot. A portmanteau of bullshit and screenshot, referring to the misrepresentation of a final product's technical or artistic quality by artificially enhancing promotional images or video footage. Button mashing The pressing of different button combinations in rapid succession to perform or attempt to perform special moves. This technique is most often encountered in fighting games. Topic. C. Campaign mode. Also story mode and campaign, a series of game levels intended to tell a linear story. Some campaigns feature multiple paths, with the player's actions deciding which path the story will follow and affecting which choices are available to the player at a later point. Camping 1. A controversial strategy in which a player stays in one place, typically a fortified, high-traffic location, for an extended period of time and waits to ambush other players. It is most common in first-person shooter games. 2. The act of hanging around a rare mob's spawn point, killing placeholders until the rare mob spawns, usually in MMOs. This may be known as spawn camping or spawn killing. Capture the flag CTF. A common game mode in multiplayer video games, where the goal is to capture and retrieve a flag from the opposing side's territory while defending the flag in one's own territory. Casual gaming Casual gaming is a term used for a form of playing video games where a gamer does not have a long-term commitment to a game and can approach playing the game on an infrequent and spontaneous basis. Casual video games have several distinguishing features. They are often web-based and are usually found on either mobile phones or personal computers. They usually do not have a high learning curve. To achieve this, most casual games have few controls normally a single button or two that will predominantly control the majority of the game. Casual games usually do not require a significant amount of time to play. They can normally be played in small periods of time. Unlike more hardcore games, casual games usually do not require a long time to reach the final stage of the game. Therefore, a casual game often does not contain a save feature. Challenge mode a game mode offered beyond the game's normal play mode that tasks the players to replay parts of the game or special levels under specific conditions that are not normally present or required in the main game, such as finishing a level within a specific time, or using only one type of weapon. If a game doesn't feature a challenge mode, players will often create self-imposed challenges by forbidding or restricting the use of certain game mechanics. Character class 
a profession that determines a character's abilities as well as positive and negative attributes. Most common in RPGs a character's class helps to define the role the character plays in a group, or in a single-player game that characters play style. Often as players gain experience with a class they learn new abilities related to their chosen profession and some games allow players to change their character's class or become proficient in multiple classes. Some examples of archetypal character classes include warrior, strength, thief, speed and stealth, wizard, ranged attacks, and priest, healing and keeping allies alive. Charge shot. A shot that can be charged up so that a stronger attack can be dealt but requiring more time. Usually performed by holding the shot button. Cheat. A game code that allows the player to beat the game or acquire benefits without earning them. Cheats are used by designers to test the game during development and are often left in the release version. See God Mode, Aimbot, ESP Cheats, Noclip Mode, Wallhack, and Konami Code. Cheating. To play the game unfairly, giving an unfair advantage via illegitimate means. Checkpoint. An area in a level from which the player will start the level from next time they die, rather than having to start the level over. Checkpoints typically remain in place until the player completes the level or gets a game over. Chiptune Music composed for the microchip-based audio hardware of early home computers and gaming consoles. Due to the technical limitations of earlier video game hardware, Chiptune came to define a style of its own, known for its Soaring flute-like melodies, buzzing square wave bass, rapid arpeggios, and noisy gated percussion. Cinematic See cutscene Circle strafing An advanced method of movement in many first-person shooter FPS games where the user utilizes both thumb sticks console or mouse and keyboard controls PC to maintain a constant circular motion around an enemy, while maintaining a relatively steady aim on that target. This practice minimizes incoming fire from the target's teammates, as any misses are likely to hit and harm their teammate. Class See Character Class Clipping 1. Programming used to ensure that the player stays within the physical boundaries of the game world. Also see Noclip, a cheat where clipping is disabled. 2. A 3D graphics process which determines if an object is visible and clips. Any obscured parts before drawing it. Clone. A game that is similar in design to another game in its genre e.g., a Doom clone or a Grand Theft Auto clone. Sometimes used in a derogatory fashion to refer to an inferior ripoff of a more successful title. Closed beta. A beta testing period where only specific people have access to the game. Cloud gaming. Cloud gaming has much in common with streaming videos. Essentially, the cloud gaming server runs a game and streams a video of the gameplay to you. Your keyboard, mouse, and controller input actions are sent over the network to the cloud gaming server. The remote server does all the heavy work, while your computer just receives streaming video and audio and sends input commands. Essentially, cloud gaming is like a streaming video service, but interactive. CMS See Construction and Management Simulation Coin Op See arcade game. Co-op. See cooperative gameplay. Combo. Series of attacks strung together in quick succession, typically while an opponent is in their getting hit animation from the previous attack and is helpless to defend themselves. Combos are a staple of fighting and beat-em-up games. Introduced in beat-em-ups such as Renegade and Double Dragon, and becoming more dynamic in Final Fight and Street Fighter 2. To correctly execute a combo, a player needs to learn a complex series of joystick and button combinations. Competitive gaming See electronic sports Compulsion loop A cycle of gameplay elements designed to keep the player invested in the game, typically though a feedback system involving in-game rewards that open up more gameplay opportunities. Console a video game hardware unit that typically connects to a video screen and controllers, along with other hardware. Unlike personal computers, a console typically has a fixed hardware configuration defined by its manufacturer and cannot be customized. Console generations A set of video game consoles in direct competition for market share in a given era. The set, as a generation, is obsoleted at the introduction of the next generation. 
or next gen console wars refers to competition for video game console market dominance and, in specific, to the rivalry between Sega and Nintendo throughout most of the 1980s and 1990s. The analogy also extends to competition in later console generations, particularly the PlayStation and Xbox brands. Construction and Management Simulation CMS. A video game genre that involves planning out and managing a population of citizens in towns, cities, or other population centers. In such games, the player rarely has direct control of the computer controlled citizens and can only influence them through planning. Content rating Classifying video games according to suitability related factors such as violent or sexual content contained within a game. Some countries use industry self-regulation models to accomplish this, while others have government rating boards. Certain content ratings result in products being actually, by law, or de facto banned from sale, such as the AO adults only rating in the U.S. While legal, such titles are not stocked by retailers and will not be certified for release by major console makers such as Sony and Microsoft. Continue a common term in video games for the option to continue the game after all of the player's lives have been lost, rather than ending the game and restarting from the very beginning. There may or may not be a penalty for doing this, such as losing a certain number of points or being unable to access bonus stages. In arcade games, when a player loses or fails an objective, they will generally be shown a continue countdown. Screen, in which the player has a limited amount of time usually 10, 15, or 20 seconds to insert additional coins in order to continue the game from the point where it had ended. Deciding not to continue will result in the displaying of a game over screen. The continue feature was added to arcade games in the mid-1980s due to arcade owners wanting to earn more money from players who played for longer periods of time. The first arcade game to have a continue feature was Fantasy, and the first home console cartridge to have this feature was the Atari 2600 version of Vanguard. As a result of the continue feature, games started to have stories and definite endings, however, those games were designed so that it would be nearly impossible to get to the end of the game without continuing. Salin and Zimmerman argue that the continue feature in games such as Gauntlet was an outlet for conspicuous consumption. In more modern times, continues have also been used in a number of free-to-play games, especially mobile games, where the player is offered a chance to pay a certain amount of premium currency to continue after failing or losing. An example of this would be Temple Run 2, where the price of a continue doubles after each failure, with an on-the-fly in-app purchase of the game's premium currency if required. Control Pad CD Pad Control Point CP a game mode which involves the team capturing each required capture point in order to win the round or level. Control stick See analog stick Controller A means of control over the console or PC on which the game is played. Specialized game controllers include the joystick, light gun, paddle, and trackball. Conversation tree See dialogue tree Cooldown the minimum length of time that the player needs to wait after using an ability before they can use it again. This concept was first introduced by the text Mud Avalon, The Legend Lives. An analogy can be made to the reload time and firing rate of weapons. For example, a machine gun has very fast firing rate, so it has a very low cooldown between shots. Comparatively, a shotgun has a long cooldown between shots. Cooldown can be used to balance a weapon such as a turret-mounted machine gun having infinite ammunition, since it can only sustain continuous fire until reaching a threshold at which the weapon would have to cool down hence the term, before it could be fired again. In design terms, cooldown can be thought of as an inverted casting time where instead of requiring a wait time before using an ability, cooldown may replace casting time and put the wait after the ability is activated. This creates a new dimension to the balancing act of casting speed versus power. Lower cooldown, faster cast, but weaker strength. Versus. Higher cooldown, slower cast, but greater strength. This mechanic is integral to such games as World of Warcraft, where cooldown management is key to higher level play and various abilities deal with cooldown, for example, cooldown reduction or immediately finishing cooldown on certain abilities. From the technical point of view, cooldown can also be used to assert control over frequency of cast in order to maintain a fluid frame rate and ping. 
For example, in the game Diablo 2, cooldown was added in the form of a patch to several graphically and CPU intensive spells to solve the problem of extreme lag caused by players spamming i.e., repeatedly casting at maxed out cast rates these spells in multiplayer games. Moves and attacks in fighting games like those from the Street Fighter series are measured in animation frames which may be 1 20th to 1 60th of a second per frame. Each move has a certain number of frames in which it is considered to be recovering before another move can be executed, which is similar to cooldown in concept. However, there is no player control over the character during recovery frames, and the character cannot perform any movement or attacks until fully recovered. Because the character is vulnerable during recovery, strategic use of skills is necessary to make sure the opponent cannot immediately counter the player character. Cooperative gameplay co -op. Multiplayer gameplay where the players work together on the same team against computer-controlled opponents or challenges. Corruptor a computer program used either as or in conjunction with an emulator to corrupt certain data within a ROM or ISO by a user desired amount, causing varied effects, both visually and audibly, to a video game and its data, usually as a humorous diversion. These effects may include, displaced or misdirected pixels in a sprite map, never-ending levels, artifacts, distorted or entirely incorrect sprites, polygons, textures, or character models, spastic animations, incorrect text or dialogue trees, flickering graphics or lights, incorrect or distorted audio, inconvenient invisible walls, lack of collision detection, and other forced glitches. Corruptions often result in the game becoming unwinnable, and may also result in crashes and softlocks. See also Real-Time Corruptor and ROM Hacking. Cover System A game mechanic which allows the player to use walls or other features of the game's environment to take cover from oncoming ranged attacks, such as gunfire in first-person shooters. Many cover systems also allow the character to use ranged attacks in return while in cover although with an accuracy penalty. CPU a character controlled by the game software using artificial intelligence, usually serving as an opponent to the player or players. The name stems from Central Processing Units CPUs, a circuit which controls and carries out the instructions to a computer. CPU versus CPU C0 Player Game Crafting a game mechanic that allows the player character to construct game items, such as armor, weapons or medicine from combinations of other items. Most MMOGs feature a crafting system. Credit feeding To complete an arcade game by using as many continues as possible. Prevalent in action games or shooters where the player is revived at the exact moment their character died during their previous credit. Some home conversions such as AES versions of Neo Geo games tend to limit the number of credits each player is allowed to use in a playthrough as a way of preserving the challenge, while other conversions such as the ports in the Namco Museum series impose no such limits in order to faithfully reproduce every feature of the original version. Compare with 1cc. Critical hit Also crit, a type of strike that does more damage than usual. Normally a rare occurrence, this may indicate a special attack or a hit on the target's weak point. Cross-platform See multiplatform Crowd control An ability, usually with an area of effect, that is used primarily in massively multiplayer online games to incapacitate or hinder groups of enemy creatures so that they can then be handled in an ordered or controlled fashion. Proper crowd control is vital in the higher difficulty areas of most MMO games to ensure success. CRPG Abbreviation of computer or console role-playing game. CTF C Capture the Flag Cut in A phase within the person's super move where the game briefly pauses the character's attack and shows their face or full body before proceeding to complete the attack. In fighting games, this move can be blocked. But in JRPGs it depletes more than half of the character or enemy s health points. Cutscene Also cinematic, a game segment that exists solely to provide detail and exposition to the story. They are used extensively in MMOs and RPGs in order to progress the plot. Cutscenes are more likely to be generated by the in-game engine while cinematics are pre-recorded. Cybersport See Electronic Sports 
Topic DD pad also control pad and directional pad, a four-directional rocker button that allows the player to direct game action in eight different directions, up, down, left, right, and their diagonals. Invented by Gunpei Yokoi for the Game & Watch series of handheld consoles, Nintendo used the «directional pad» or «cross key» in Japan for their Nintendo Entertainment System controller and it has been used on nearly every console controller since, damage over time dot an effect, such as poison or catching on fire, that reduces a player's health over the course of time or turns, damage per second DPS used as a metric in some games to allow the player to determine their offensive power, particularly in games where the player's attack are performed automatically when a target is in range. Damage ring A display element typically found in first person shooters that indicates which direction the player character is taking damage from. Day 1 also release date, the day of release for a video game, often accompanied by a day 1 patch to repair issues that could not be addressed in time for the game's distribution. Dead Zone A region of the screen in video games in which the camera is controlled via free look where the mouse cursor can be positioned to lock the camera in place can be adjusted in some games, debuff 1. The opposite of a buff, an effect placed on a character that negatively impacts their statistics and characteristics. See also nerf. 2. Effects that nullify or cancel the effects of buffs. Destructible environment A game level in which walls and other surfaces can be damaged and destroyed, developer the production company which makes a video game, development hell an unofficial, indefinite waiting period during which a project is effectively stalled and unable to proceed. Projects that enter development hell are often delayed by several years, but are not usually considered to be formally cancelled by the publisher. Dialogue tree also conversation tree, found primarily in adventure games, a means of providing a menu of dialogue choices to the player when interacting with a non-player character so as to learn more from that character, influence the character's actions, and otherwise progress the game's story. The tree nature comes from typically having multiple branching levels of questions and replies that can be explored, difficulty the level of difficulty that a player wishes to face while playing a game. At higher difficulty levels, the player usually faces stronger NPCs, limited resources, or tighter time limits. Digital rights management DRM software tools for copyright protection, often heavily criticized, particularly if the DRM tool is overly restrictive or badly designed. Directional pad CD pad, display mode CD attract mode. DLC see downloadable content. Doom clone an early term to describe first-person shooters, based on gameplay that mimic that from Doom, double jump and additional jump that follows the first in quick succession. Down but not out DBNO, a term for near-death state, typically found in Team Battle Royale games, in which a player becomes incapacitated instead of dying after losing health points. Players in this state can be revived by teammates as long as they still have health. Downloadable content DLC, additional content for a video game that is acquired through a digital delivery system. DPM abbreviation of damage per minute, used as a metric in some games to allow the player to determine their offensive power. DPSC damage per second. Draft a game mode associated with collectible card games including digital variants. A draft mode enables a player to create a deck of cards in such games by selecting one card of a number of randomly selected cards at a time. The player then uses the completed deck to play in matches against other players or computer opponents until they meet a certain win or loss record. DRM See Digital Rights Management Drop-in, drop-out a type of competitive or cooperative multiplayer game that enables a player to join the game at any time without waiting and leave without any penalty, and without affecting the game for other players. Dungeon See also level in an open world game, refers to any hostile location where the player is likely to come under attack. Often these are enclosed areas such as a cave, ship, or building, hence the term dungeon. Dungeon crawl a genre of video game that is based around exploring a dungeon or similar setting, defeating monsters and collecting loot. Dynamic game difficulty balancing The automatic change in parameters, scenarios, and behaviors in a video game in real time, based on the player's ability, with the aim of avoiding player boredom or frustration. Dynamic music Game music which reacts to what is happening in the game. E Electronic sports Also competitive gaming, cybersports and professional gaming. 
organized competitions around competitive video games, typically using games from the first-person shooter and multiplayer online battle arena genres, and often played for prize money and recognition. Elo Hell the phenomenon of being stuck at a lower rank than your true skill level in competitive video games that use the ELO rating system due to teammates of inferior skill. Emergent gameplay Gameplay that develops as a result of player creativity, rather than the game's programmed structure. EVE Online is well known for its emergent gameplay, which allows player-formed alliances to fight extended wars over valuable territory and resources, or simply become space pirates and prey on other player-operated vessels. Emulator A software program that is designed to replicate the software and hardware of a video game console on more modern computers and other devices. Emulators typically include the ability to load software images of cartridges and other similar hardware-based game distribution methods from the earlier hardware generations, in addition to more traditional software images. End game The game play available in a massively multiplayer online game for characters that have completed all of the currently available content. Endless mode a game mode in which players are challenged to last as long as possible against a continuing threat with limited resources or player character lives, with their performance ranked on how long they survive before succumbing to the threat such as the death of the player character or on score. This mode is typically offered in games that otherwise have normal endings that can be reached, providing an additional challenge to the players once the main game is completed. Energy 1. Governs how often a player character is allowed to use a special ability, mostly in action or combat-oriented games. Behaves similar to mana points. 2. Governs how often a player is allowed to play a particular free-to-play game. Energy can be replenished instantly with an in-app purchase, or replenished slowly by waiting and not playing the game. Engine See Game Engine ESP Cheats Extra Sensory Perception Cheats a package of multiple cheats. E.g. Distance ESP shows the distance between the enemy and the player. Player ESP makes enemies highly visible, and Weapon ESP shows enemy weapons. Experience point XP In games that feature the ability for the player character to gain levels, such as role-playing video games, experience points are used to denote progress towards the next character level. F Farming Repeating a battle, quest, or other part of a game in order to receive more or duplicates of specific reward items that can be gained through that battle or quest, such as experience points, game money, or specific reward items. Gold farming is a type of farming done for in-game currency. See grinding Fast travel Common in role-playing games, a means by which to have the player characters travel between already discovered portions of the game's world without having to actually interactively move that distance. Feed In multiplayer games, to consistently die to an enemy team or player either intentionally or due to inexperience, providing them with experience, gold, map pressure, or other advantages. Field of view FOV. Also field of vision, a measurement reflecting how much of the game world is visible in a first-person perspective on the display screen, typically represented as an angle. Final boss See boss First party developer A developer that is either owned directly by a console maker or has special arrangements with the console maker. Such developers have greater access to internal details about a console compared to traditional developers. First person a graphical perspective rendered from the viewpoint of the player character. First-person shooter FPS. A genre of video game where the player experiences the game from the first-person perspective, and where the primary mechanic is the use of guns and other ranged weapons to defeat enemies. Flashing invulnerability. Also invincibility frames, invulnerability period. An invincibility or immunity to damage that occurs after the player takes damage for a short time, indicated by the player character blinking or buffering. Flip screen A game environment divided into single screen portions, similar to individual tiles in a maze. Players see only one such screen at a time, and transfer between screens by moving the player character to the current screen's edge. The picture then abruptly 
flips to the next screen, hence the technique's name. Fog of War Common in strategy games, a fog covers unobservable areas of the map and hides any enemy units in that area. Fuzzle The final boss in a game. FOV See Field of View FPS 1. An abbreviation for first-person shooter. 2. An abbreviation for frames per second. See frame rate. Frag To kill or achieve a kill in a game against a player or non-player opponent. See also GIB. Frame rate A measure of the rendering speed of a video game's graphics, typically in frames per second FPS. Free look 1. To be able to look around the map freely, usually unlimited by typical mechanics of the game such as the boundaries of the game world. This is usually an ability that is disabled to common users, but left in the game coding as a developer's tool and is unlockable if the proper code is known. 2. Also called mouse look, used to describe a method of control where the player uses the computer mouse to indicate the direction they desire the player character to look. Freemium Freemium is a pricing strategy by which a product or service typically a digital offering or an application such as software, media, games or web services is provided free of charge, but money premium is charged for additional features, services, or virtual online or physical offline goods. Free-to-play F2P or FTP Games that do not require purchase from a retailer, either physical or digital, to play. Wildly prevalent amongst smartphone apps, free-to-play games may also provide additional gameplay enhancing purchases via an in-app purchase, compare freemium, a free-to-play game that follows such a model. G Game design The application of design and aesthetics to create a game. Compare with video game design. Game engine The code on which a game runs. There are different subsets of engines such as physics engines and graphics engines. Game localization See localization Game mechanics Also gameplay mechanics, an overarching term that describes how a particular game functions and what is possible within the game's environment, the rules of the game. Typical game mechanics include points, turns and or lives. An unanticipated and novel use of game mechanics may lead to emergent gameplay. Game mode Also gameplay mode, a game mode is a distinct configuration that varies game mechanics and affects gameplay, such as a single-player mode versus a multiplayer mode, campaign mode, endless mode, or god mode. Game over 1. The end of the game. 2. The failure screen shown at a game loss. Game port when a game is ported from one platform to another. Cross-platform ports are often criticized for their quality, particularly if platform-specific design elements such as input methods are not updated for the target platform. Game save See saved game Game studies An area of social sciences that attempts to quantify or predict human behavior in various game-based scenarios, often where there is a reward or risk in taking certain actions. Gameplay A player's interaction with a video game, defined through game rules, player game interface, challenges, plot, and the player's connection with the game. Gank To use the element of surprise to flank and attack an enemy. More common in multiplayer games, where ganking usually indicates an unwelcome attack on an unwilling or unsuspecting participant. Gating Part of a game's design that regulates how new gameplay elements, levels, weapons, abilities, or the like are introduced to the player. GG Abbreviation meaning, good game. Used as parting words exchanged at the end of a competitive game or match as a gesture of good sportsmanship. GGWP Good game, well played is also used. Ghost a feature included in time attack or time trial modes in video games allowing the player to review their previous rounds. In racing games, for example, a ghost car may follow the last or fastest path a player took around the track. 
In fighting games, the ghost is an opponent that the computer AI player can train against outside of normal player versus player or story mode. Ghost cars in racing games generally appear as translucent or flashing versions of the player's vehicle. Based on previously recorded lap times, they serve only to represent the fastest lap time and do not interact dynamically with other competitors. A skilled player will use the ghost to improve their time, matching the ghost's racing line as it travels the course. Many racing games, including Gran Turismo, F-Zero, and Mario Kart offer a ghost function. Some also have ghosts set by staff members and developers, often showing perfect routes and lap times, a variation of the feature, dubbed by FireMonkey's studios as time-shifted multiplayer, was implemented in the mobile racing game Real Racing 3. It works by recording the lap times of players in each race, and uses statistics from other players to recreate their lap times for the player to beat. These ghost cars can collide with the player and other vehicles, and are fully visible to the player, in some rhythm games, such as the Elite Beat Agents and Osu. Tatake. Owenden, saved replay data can be used in one of the player slots in a multiplayer game. Gib. Gore and body chunks which fly from a game opponent when hit with such force that they rupture. Abbreviation of. Giblets. Gimp. 1. A character, character class or character ability that is underpowered in the context of the game. 2. A design choice that has this effect. GLHF Abbreviation meaning, good luck, have fun. Used as words exchanged at the beginning of a competitive game or matches a gesture of good sportsmanship. God mode Also, infinite health, infinite life, invincibility, invulnerability. A cheat that makes player characters invulnerable. Occasionally adds invincibility, where the player can hurt enemies by touching them e.g., the Super Mario Superstar. The effect may be temporary. See flashing invulnerability. Gold farming. See farming. Gone gold. The point in the software development cycle where the software is considered final and ready to be shipped. The term traditionally related to the production of games on CD-ROM, where the final version of the game, the master copy, would be written to a gold film-based writable CD and sent to be replicated for retail. Graphic content filter A setting that controls whether the game displays graphic violence. Griefer A player in a multiplayer video game who deliberately irritates and harasses other players within the game. Many online multiplayer games enforce rules that forbid griefing. Grinding Performing a repetitive and time-consuming action in a video game before being able to advance. Prevalent in online games, where it is alternately considered an annoying waste of time or an enjoyable necessity, depending on the player's attitude. Many online games have taken steps to reduce the grind, including doing away with traditional leveling systems or allowing the player to temporarily boost themselves to match the difficulty of NPCs in a given area. Guardian A fighter in a role-playing game, usually an MMORPG, who soaks up the damage like a sponge and returns fire with heavy-hitting attacks. In games like Final Fantasy XIV, they act as a decoy so the other fighters can concentrate on their attacks or objectives. Topic. H Handheld console A portable gaming console. Nintendo's Game Boy is the most recognizable example. Hate A mechanism by which non-player characters prioritize which players to attack. See aggro Head bob in first-person view games, the up and down and sometimes left and right motion of the player's camera to simulate the bobbing of the player character's head when walking or running. It is often an option that can be disabled as it may induce motion sickness in players. Headshot See critical hit Head swap Animation technique in which a new head is put on an existing character model, to save memory or animation effort. Heal over time hot. An effect that restores health over a period of time, antonym of dot. Health. Also hit points, a numerical property showing how much damage a character can take before being incapacitated. Getting hurt lowers this meter and if it reaches zero that character can no longer continue. Depending on the game this can mean many different things i.e. death, serious injury, knockout, or exhaustion. Heat map. 
In video game terms, a heat map is typically an overhead representation of a game level showing, through background game data collection, where players died or some other related statistic. Brighter spots or highly concentrated areas show where these events occurred the most. Such maps may be used by developers to help refine map design. Hit marker A visual effect that occurs every time the player character lands a hit on the opponent, commonly seen in first-person shooter games like Call of Duty. Hit points See health Hitbox The virtual envelope describing precisely where the game will register any hits on a game target. Hitscan Commonly seen in first-person shooters. Hitscan is a type of damage shot from a gun or similar that has no travel time, but instead hits the first thing along its path immediately. This is typically used for bullet-based guns such as pistols, shotguns, and sniper rifles. Contrast to projectiles, which have travel time. Horde mode A type of game mode in cooperative multiplayer games. Players work together to defend one or more objectives or simply to have at least one man standing as they fight through discrete waves of enemies, with each subsequent wave featuring more numerous and powerful enemies. Such modes often include elements of tower defense games where players can deploy defensive tools such as turrets or traps to injure or slow enemies. The game may offer short periods between waves where players can spend in-game currency or similar points to improve their defenses, their equipment, or similar boosts. Horde modes can be based on a fixed number of waves or in an endless mode where players attempt to last as long as possible. I In app purchase IAP, a microtransaction in a mobile game or regular app, usually for virtual goods in free or cheap games. Indie game Also independent video game Loosely defined as a game made by a single person or a small studio without any financial, development, marketing, or distribution support from a large publisher, though there are exceptions. Infinite Health See God Mode Infinite Life See God Mode Item Level A number attached to an item, be it weapon, armor, or crafting clothing, which roughly indicates the item's power. Most predominantly in MMORPGs. If characters do not meet the required item level set by the dungeon or quest line, they would be unable to partake in the event. Interface Also heads-up display HUD, graphic elements that communicate information to the player and aid interaction with the game, such as health bars, ammo meters and maps. Inventory A menu or area of the screen where items collected by the player character during the game can be selected. This interface allows the player to retrieve single-use items as an instant effect or to equip the player character with the item. Invincibility See God Mode Invisible Wall An obstruction in a video game that halts movement in a specific direction, even though terrain and features can be seen beyond the boundary. Invulnerability See God Mode Topic. J Joystick An input device consisting of a stick that pivots on a base and reports its angle or direction to the device it is controlling. Modern gaming joysticks have several buttons and may include a thumb-operated analog stick on top. JRPG Japanese role-playing video game, typically referring to a subgenre of RPGs that originated from Japan. Jump a basic move where the player jumps vertically. Topic K. Kill death ratio. A statistic typically found in player versus player video games, gauging the ratio between the number of opponents the player defeated and the number of deaths the player suffered at the hands of opponents. More skilled players typically have higher kill death ratios. Kill screen A stage or level in a video game often an arcade game that stops the player's progress due to a software bug. Kill screens can result in unpredictable gameplay and bizarre glitches. Notable arcade kill screens include Round 256 round zero of the coin-operated Dig Dug, where the player cannot move and ultimately dies. 
Pac-Man has a kill screen on level 256 based on an integer overflow, Ars Technica calls this, "...one of the most well-known accidental endings in gaming." The games Ms. Pac-Man and Junior Pac-Man also have kill screens. Pac-Man's kill screen was playable, but rendered in such a way that it was not possible to gather sufficient points to advance. Donkey Kong has a kill screen caused by an overflow condition, where the game timer kills the player before it is possible to beat the level. Ars Technica calls it the second most famous kill screen of all of gaming, and Wired described it as mythic. This was popularized in the documentary The King of Kong. Duck Hunt has a kill screen after level 99 in which the ducks fly at a higher speed, making them difficult to hit. Galaga's kill screen occurs on level 256 level zero, when an integer overflow occurs and the game turns into a blank screen that Joshua Behrman described as an existential void. Kill stealing Defeating an enemy that someone else was about to defeat, usually to receive the reward or credit without doing most of the work. Considered bad form in many online communities. Kit The set of skills and abilities given to a pre-defined playable character in games featuring many such characters to choose from, such as many MOBAs or hero shooters. Kiting A maneuver in which a player character gets an enemy NPC to chase after them so as to lead them somewhere else like a kite on a string. This can be used in team-based or cooperative games to allow the player's teammates to attack the opponent, or to lure the opponent into a trap. Knockback A game mechanic in a fighting game or platform game where a character is thrown backwards from the force of an attack. During knockback, the character is unable to change their direction until a short recovery animation is finished. Knockback sometimes results in falling down pits if the character is standing close to the edge when hit with a knockback attack. Konami Code A fixed series of controller button presses used across numerous Konami games to unlock special cheats such as gaining a large number of lives in Contra, and subsequently used by other developers to enable cheats or added functions in these games. The term applies to variations on this sequence but nearly all begin with up up down down left right left right. Topic L. Lag A delay between an input or action and its corresponding result, most commonly in an online environment. This is often the result of delayed network traffic. Laner A player role in MOBA games that focuses on one of the typically three lanes on the map. Last hitting The action of getting the killing blow on an NPC, giving gold an experience that would otherwise be not given or lessened if the last hit was missed. Most commonly used in MOBA games, such as League of Legends and Dota 2. See also hashtag kill stealing. Launch title A game released alongside its respective console, or the only titles available for a console at the time of its launch. One or more of these may be a pack in game. They often provide first impressions for a console's abilities and are influential on its reputation. Let's play a type of video game run through done by players, through screenshots or video, where the player provides commentary about the game as they work through it. Level 1. A location or area in a game. 2. In RPGs level may refer to experience levels which are gained through training a character's abilities and serve as a rough indicator of that character's proficiency in a task. Level Editor a program, either provided within the game software or a separate software product, that allows players to place objects or create new levels for a video game. Level scaling In games where the player advances in level such in RPGs, level scaling is used to alter the attributes of a player or the enemies so that regardless of the player's level, there is generally a similar challenge in combat. In a game without level scaling, if the player is several experience levels higher than an enemy, then it becomes extremely or trivially easy to defeat the enemy without any threat. With level scaling, either the enemy would be buffed or the player's abilities nerfed so that the challenge would be similar as if the player and enemy were at the same level. The player would still gain added benefits with higher levels, such as additional abilities, better equipment with unique properties, and access to higher level quests or areas. Examples of games with level scaling include World of Warcraft and Destiny. Life 
one of multiple chances that a player has to retry a task after failing. Losing all of one's lives is usually a loss condition and may force the player to start over. It is common in action games for the player character to have multiple lives and chances to earn more during the game. This way, a player can recover from making a disastrous mistake. Role-playing games and adventure games usually give the player only one life, but allow them to reload a saved game if they fail. A life may similarly be defined as the period between the start and end of play for any character, from creation to destruction. Light gun A specialized type of game controller that the player points at their television screen or monitor to interact with the game. Limit break A powerful move that allows the player to turn the tide of battle. Occurs when said characters has filled up their required super meter a gauge near their health, MP bar, or character portrait picture to maximum. In the case of Final Fantasy XIV, for instance, a player can resurrect the entire party from being totally wiped. These moves sometimes include a dramatic cut in screen of the character. Loadout A specific set of in-game equipment, abilities, power-ups, and other items that a player sets for their character prior to the start of a game's match, round, or mission. Games that feature such loadouts typically allow players to store, recall, and adjust two or more loadouts so they can switch between them quickly. Localization During publishing, the process of editing a game for audiences in another region or country, primarily by translating the text and dialogue of a video game. Localization can also involve changing content of the game to reflect different cultural values and censoring material that is against local law, or in some cases self-censoring in an effort to obtain a more commercially favorable content rating. Loot box Loot boxes and other name variants such as booster packs for online collectible card games are awarded to players for completing a match, gaining an experience level, or other in-game achievement. The box contains random items, typically cosmetic only but may include gameplay impacting items, often awarded based on a rarity system. In many cases, additional loot boxes can be obtained through microtransactions. Loot system Methods used in multiplayer games to distribute treasure among cooperating players for finishing a quest. While early MMOs distributed loot on a first-come, first-served basis, it was quickly discovered that such a system was easily abused, and later games instead used a need or greed system, in which the participating players roll virtual dice and the loot is distributed according to the results. M Macro the handling of high-level decisions, primarily in real-time strategy games. See also Micro Magic Any of a variety of game mechanics to render fantastical or otherwise unnatural effects, though accessories scrolls, potions, artifacts or a pool of resources inherent to the character mana, magic points, etc. Main To focus on playing a certain character in a game, sometimes exclusively Main Quest a chain of quests that comprise a game's storyline which must be completed to finish the game. In comparison, side quests offer rewards but don't advance the main quest. Map Sea level Massacre A portmanteau of masochist and hardcore, referring to a genre of punishingly difficult games, particularly the Dark Souls series, Bloodborne, NIOH, and indie games such as I Wanna Be the Guy and Super Meat Boy. The genre is popular among hardcore gamers. Massively multiplayer online game MMO. A game that involves a large community of players coexisting in an online world in cooperation or competition with one another. Massively multiplayer online role playing game MMORPG. An MMO that incorporates traditional role playing game mechanics. Games such as EverQuest and Dark Age of Camelot were progenitors of the genre. The most popular and most well-known game of this type is World of Warcraft. Matchmaking A game system that automatically sorts players with similar playing styles, desires, objectives, or skill levels into a team or a group. In competitive games or modes, a matchmaking rating MMR is a number assigned to each player based on skill and is the basis for matching players. This rating goes up or down based on individual or team performance. Maxed out 1. 
reaching the maximum level that a character or in some cases, a weapon or other game item can have. 2. Raising a character's statistics to the maximum value. 3. In real-time strategy games, recruiting units until the maximum number is reached. Metagame. In games that encourage repeated playthroughs, including match-based multiplayer games, the metagame or meta refers to gameplay elements that are typically not part of the main game but can be invoked by the player to alter future playthroughs of the main game. For example, in some roguelike games, the metagame is used to unlock the ability to have new items appear in the randomized levels, while for a collectible card-based game such as Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft, the overall card and deck construction is considered part of the metagame. Metastory The sum total of all known or implied stories of every character in the game, every branching storyline, all potential outcomes and backstory. Metroidvania A genre of exploration-focused games, usually featuring a large interconnected world. Access to certain areas and defeating certain enemies requires items found elsewhere, necessitating exploration and defeating enemies to obtain them. These games are usually side-scrolling platformers or viewed from the top down, although they can be found in 3D as well. Many borrow features from roguelike games, such as Permanent Death. Named for two pioneers of the genre, the Metroid and Castlevania series. Micro The handling of detailed gameplay elements by the player. See also Macro Microtransaction a business model used in games where players can purchase virtual goods via micropayments. See also in app purchase. Min maxing The practice of playing a role playing game, wargame, or video game with the intent of creating the best character by means of minimizing undesired or unimportant traits and maximizing desired ones. This is usually accomplished by improving one specific trait or ability or a set of traits, abilities by sacrificing ability in all other fields. This is easier to accomplish in games where attributes are generated from a certain number of points rather than in ones where they are randomly generated. Miniboss See boss Minigame A game within a game, often provided as a diversion from the game's plot. Minigames are usually one-screen affairs with limited replay value, though some games have provided an entire commercial release as a mini-game within the primary game world. See also bonus stage, secret level and game mode. Mission See level and quest. MMO See massively multiplayer online game. MMORPG See massively multiplayer online role-playing game. MMR See matchmaking rating Mob Mob is a term for an in-game enemy who roams a specific area. It is an abbreviation of mobile and was first used in text-based online games in reference to non-player characters. MOBA See multiplayer online battle arena Mod A third-party addition or alteration to a game. Mods may take the form of new character skins, altered game mechanics or the creation of a new story or an entirely new game world. Some games such as Fallout 4 and Skyrim provide tools to create game mods, while other games that don't officially support game modifications can be altered or extended with the use of third-party tools. Mode 1. Technical or non-play modes for the hardware or software of a video game, such as a diagnostic or configuration mode, video or sound test, or the attract mode of arcade games. 2. Gameplay modes which affect the game mechanics. See game mode. Monk. A fighter class that only uses their fists, iron knuckles, claws or feet to take down enemies. Gets their power from equipping offense-inducing armor or activating a buff ability. As compared to the Paladin, Motion Control A game system that requires physical movement by the player to control player character actions. Popularized by the Nintendo Wii, Motion Control is available on most recent console and handheld systems. Mouse Look See Free Look MP 1. Abbreviation of Magic Points 2. Abbreviation of Multiplayer MUD also multi-user domain, multi-user dungeon, a multiplayer real-time virtual world, usually text-based. Multi-load games. Games, typically from the 1980s, that would only load one portion of the game into memory at a time. 
This technique let developers make each in-memory portion of the game more complex. Multiplatform Also cross-platform A game which can be played on multiple platforms Multiplayer A game that allows multiple players to play at once Multiplayer Online Battle Arena MOBA. A genre of real-time strategy games popularized by Defense of the Ancients that pits teams of players to defend their home base from enemy onslaughts. Multiple character control A feature of role-playing video games where the player controls multiple characters in real-time. The PlayStation 2 was first with this feature in the Summoner and Dynasty Warriors series. Multiple endings as compared to the straightforward linear ending that players normally see when defeating the game's final boss. In the case of multiple endings, players can view different ending outcomes. Players will have to meet certain requirements in order to view a specific ending. Multiplier In games with a scoring system, a gameplay element that increases the value of the points earned by the given multiplier value while the multiplier is active. A common feature of most pinball tables. Topic N Nerf A change intended to weaken a particular item, tactic, ability, or character, ostensibly for balancing purposes. New Game Plus An option to play through an already completed game's story again, carrying over characters, attributes, or equipment from a prior playthrough. Newbie Someone new to the game, generally used as a pejorative, although usually lightheartedly. See Noob. Noclip mode A cheat that allows players to pass through normally impenetrable objects, walls, ceilings, and floors, by disabling clipping. Non-player character NPC. A computer-controlled character or any character that is not under the player's direct control. Noob A pejorative used to insult a player who is making mistakes that an experienced player would be expected to avoid. See Newbie. No scope. Similar to quickscoping, this is a term used to describe when a player uses a sniper rifle to achieve a kill without using its scope. Note highway. A visual element of most rhythm games that show the notes the player must match as they scroll along the screen. This is more commonly considered a highway when the notes scroll down the screen on a perspective-based grid, making it appear as a road highway. O Old School Gaming See Retro Gaming. One trick When a player continually chooses to play as a specific character in a wide roster, and often refuses to switch Online Game A game where part of the game engine is on a server and requires an internet connection. Many multiplayer games support online play Open Beta the opposite of a closed beta, the test players are not bound by non-disclosure agreements and are free to show the game to others. Open world A game world that the player may freely traverse, rather than being restricted to certain predefined areas. While open world and sandbox are sometimes used interchangeably, the terms refer to different concepts and are not synonymous. Overpowered op. An item, ability or other effect that is too powerful, disturbing the game balance. Overworld An open area that allows free travel and serves to connect other areas of the game world. In platform games, this term also refers to levels that are considered aboveground, in contrast to cave-like levels, which are referred to as underworlds. P Pack and game a game that is included with the purchase of a video game console as a form of product bundling. Paddle A game controller that primarily included a large dial that could be turned either clockwise or counterclockwise to generate movement in one direction within a game. Party 1. In a cooperative multiplayer game, a team of players working to complete the same mission or quest. See role-playing game hashtag game mechanics. 2. The collection of characters the player may control or have the most direct access to. The characters themselves are typically referred to as party members. Patch 
The process by which a developer of a video game creates an update to an already released game with the intention of possibly adding new content, fixing any bugs in the current game, balancing character issues especially prevalent in online multiplayer games with competitive focuses, or updating the game to be compatible with DLC releases. See also Zero Day Patch Pause the option to temporarily suspend play of a video game, allowing the player to take a break or attend to some other urgent matter outside of the game, or to perform other actions, such as adjusting options, saving the current game and or ending the current game session. In multiplayer online games where actions are performed in real time by players, however, pausing is not allowed, as such game requires continuous activity from all participating players in order to properly function from start to finish. Perks Special bonuses that video game players can add to their characters to give special abilities. Similar to power-ups, but permanent rather than temporary. Permadeath When a player must restart the game from the beginning when their character dies, instead of from a saved game or save point. Persistent World PSW. An online game world that exists independently of the players and is semi-permanently affected by their actions. Pervasive Game a game that blends its in-game world with the physical world. The term has been associated with ubiquitous games, augmented and mixed reality games, mobile games, alternate reality games, enhanced live-action role-playing, transreality and effective gaming, virtual reality games, smart toys, location-based or location-aware games, cross-media games and augmented reality tabletop games. Examples of pervasive games include Pokemon Go, The Killer, The Beast, Shelby Logan's Run, Botfighters, Mystery on Fifth Avenue, Momentum, Pac Manhattan, Epidemic Menace, Insectopia, VEM Greater, Rexplorer, Uncle Roy All Around You and Amazing Race. Ping In online games, the network latency between the client and server. See also lag Physical release a version of a video game released on an optical disc or other storage device, as opposed to a digital download. Pixel hunting A game element that involves searching an entire scene for a single often pixel -sized, point of interactivity. Common in adventure games, most players consider hunt the pixel puzzles to be a tedious chore, born of inadequate game design. The text adventure version of this problem is called guess the verb or syntax puzzle. Platform the specific combination of electronic components or computer hardware which, in conjunction with software, allows a video game to operate. Platform game Also platformer A video game genre which involves heavy use of jumping, climbing, and other acrobatic maneuvers to guide the player character between suspended platforms and over obstacles in the game environment. Player character PC. The main protagonist controlled and played by the human player in a video game. Titus from Final Fantasy X, Doomguy from the Doom series, and Commander Shepard from the Mass Effect series are all player characters developed by their game studios. Player vs. Environment PvE refers to fighting computer-controlled enemies non-player characters, as opposed to player vs. player PvP. Player vs. player PvP refers to competing against other players, as opposed to player versus environment PvE. Playthrough The act of playing a game from start to finish, in one or several sessions. Point of no return A point in a game from which the player cannot return to previous areas. Port See game port. Power up Objects that instantly benefit or add extra abilities to the game character, usually as a temporary effect. Persistent power-ups are called perks. Power creep The gradual unbalancing of a game due to successive releases of new content. The phenomenon may be caused by a number of different factors and, in extreme cases, can be damaging to the longevity of the game in which it takes place. Game expansions are usually stronger than previously existing content, giving consumers an incentive to buy it for competitions against other players or as new challenges for the single-player experience. While the average power level within the game rises, older content falls out of balance and becomes regressively outdated or relatively underpowered, effectively rendering it useless from a competitive or challenge-seeking viewpoint. Power Spike The moment in which a character sees a rise in relative strength from leveling up larger than that of a normal milestone. 
This is usually due to an item becoming available or certain abilities being unlocked. Proc Proc and Procing is used to describe the activation or occurrence of a random gaming event. Particularly common for massively multiplayer online games, procs are random events where special armor or weapons provide the user with temporary extra powers, or when the opposing enemy suddenly becomes more powerful in some way. The term's origin is uncertain, possibly from programmed random occurrence, process, or procedure. Procedural generation When the game algorithmically combines randomly generated elements, particularly in game world creation. Professional gaming See Electronic Sports Progression System The game mechanics that determine how a player improves their player character over the course of a game or several games, such as gaining experience points to level up characters, performing tasks to gain new abilities, or part of a metagame improvement. Publisher The company that in whole or in part finances, distributes and markets the game. This is distinct from the developer, though the publisher may own the developer. PvE See player versus environment PvP See player versus player PWNED To dominate an opponent, usually another player. Intentional misspelling of owned derived from World of Warcraft culture. Topic Q QTE See Quick Time Event. Quest. Any objective-based activity created in-game for the purpose of either story or character level advancement. Quests follow many common types, such as defeating a number of specific monsters, gathering a number of specific items, or safely escorting a non-player character. Some quests involve more detailed information and mechanics and are either greatly enjoyed by players as a break from the common monotony or are reviled as uselessly more complicated than necessary. Quick Time Event QTE. An event within a game that typically requires the player to press an indicated controller button or move a controller's analog controls within a short time window to succeed in the event and progress forward, while failure to do so may harm the player character or lead to a game over situation. Such controls are generally non-standard for the game, and the action performed in a quick time event is usually not possible to execute in regular gameplay. Quicksave A mechanism in a video game where progress to or from a saved game can be done by pressing a single controller button or keystroke, instead of opening a file dialog to locate the save file. Typically, there is only one quickload location and quicksaving will override any previously saved state. Quickscoping a technique in first-person shooter video games used to kill an opponent by quickly aiming down sights on a weapon and immediately shooting. Topic R. Rack. See level. Rage quit. Rage quitting is the act of quitting a game mid-progress instead of waiting for the game to end. Typically, this is associated with leaving in frustration, such as unpleasant communication with other players, being annoyed, or losing the game. However, the reasons can vary beyond frustration, such as being unable to play due to the way the game has progressed, bad sportsmanship, manipulating game statistics, or having network connection problems. There are also social implications of rage quitting, such as making other players rage quit. Certain games can penalize the player for leaving early. Rage quitting is considered improper and rude, but can also be considered amusing by others when they are not negatively impacted by it themselves. Contrast with drop in, drop out. Raid. A type of mission in which a very large number of players larger than the normal team size set by the game attempt to defeat a boss monster. Common in MMORPGs. Random encounter. A gameplay feature most commonly used in older Japanese role-playing games whereby combat encounters with non-player character NPC enemies or other dangers occur sporadically and at random without the enemy being physically seen beforehand. RD Ming From the phrase random death match, RD Ming refers to when a player kills someone whether it be another player or NPC who is not their target or for a non-strategic reason. 
The term stems from the idea that during a deathmatch players are expected to kill as many other players as possible, and when a player does it in another game mode, they are thus randomly playing a deathmatch game. Reactivity refers to the manner in which a game world reacts to and is changed based on the player's choices. Examples include branching dialogue trees in an RPG, or detailed interacting systems in a simulation or strategy game. A reactive game world offers a greater number of possible outcomes to a given action, but increases the complexity and cost of development. Real-time corruptor A type of ROM, ISO corruptor program which incrementally and gradually corrupts video game data in real time as the game is being played for the purpose of finding amusing or interesting results. A game could look fine at startup, but as data is distorted the game will eventually become unplayable or crash. Real-time strategy RTS. A genre of video game where the player controls one or more units in real-time combat with human or computer opponents. Remorting Also rerolling or starting a game with a new character from level 1 after having maxed out a previous character. Replay value the ability to play the game again with reasonable enjoyment. Respawn The reappearance of an entity, such as a character or object, after its death or destruction. Respecing In games where a player character gains skills along a skill tree by spending points, the act of respecing re allows the player to remove all skills and then respend those points on a different set of skills. This usually requires an expenditure of in-game money or other earned gameplay element. Retrogaming Also old-school gaming the playing or collecting of older personal computer, console, and arcade video games in contemporary times. Revamp Renovation or improvement of a game's user interface, system stats, items, rules, etc. Review bomb Actions taken by players to leave negative reviews of a game or other form of media on a digital storefront or user contributed as a form of protest due to actions typically unrelated to the game or media quality itself. Revive The act of restoring a defeated character or entity to life that is not removed from play after their health is gone. This is different from respawning, which only occurs typically without outside intervention and when a character is removed from play after their health has been depleted. Rhythm game A genre of video game requiring the player to perform actions in time to the game's music. Rocket jumping Also grenade jumping, a tactic used in certain games that include physics simulation and rocket launchers or explosives. The player aims their weapon at or near their player character's feet, or stand their character where there will be an explosion, and use the force of the blast to propel the character beyond normal jumping ability. Roguelike a sub-genre of games primarily featuring procedurally generated levels, tile-based movement, turn-based action, complex maps to explore, resource management, and permanent death. Games that lack some of those elements are usually better termed dungeon crawlers, but can be referred to as roguelites. In particular, permadeath alone does not make a game roguelike. Roguelikes are typically set in dungeons, but may contain an overworld or other settings. Roguelike games are usually designed to be more challenging than typical games, with luck and memory playing a larger role. Named after the 1980 game Rogue. Roguelike Games that have some, but not all, features of roguelike games. Often the feature removed will be permadeath. While games may self-identify as roguelites, it can also be used as a derogatory term. Often used instead of roguelike by mistake, but the two are different. Role-playing video game RPG. An RPG is a game in which the human player takes on the role of a specific character, class, and advances the skills and abilities of that character within the game environment. RPG characters generally have a wide variety of skills and abilities available to them, and much theorycrafting is involved in creating the best possible form of each of these character classes. This is different from games such as first-person shooters FPS, wherein the player character in those games are all standardized forms and the physical skills of the player involved are the determining factor in their success or failure within the game. In an RPG, a human player can be the best player in the world at the game, but if they are using a character build that is substandard, they can be significantly outplayed by a lesser player running a more optimal character build. ROM hacking 
The process of modifying a ROM image of a video game to alter the game's graphics, dialogue, levels, gameplay, or other elements. This is usually done by technically inclined video game fans to breathe new life into a cherished old game, as a creative outlet, or to make essentially new unofficial games using the old game's engine. Room over room In video game environments, the placement of a room directly above another room. This was impossible to achieve with the Doom engine which did mapping in 2D, with height variance done via numbers. In true 3D game engines to follow, such as those using the Quake engine, room over room became an easy effect to accomplish. Round Sea level RPG 1. Abbreviation of role-playing game 2. In military games, a rocket-propelled grenade RTS See real-time strategy Rubber banding 1. A game mechanic resulting from dynamic game difficulty balancing that alters the rules of the game to keep the game competitive and fun. It is most notable in racing games where human players may easily outdistance computer opponents. When this happens, the computer opponents are often given the ability to go faster than normal or to avoid certain obstacles as to allow them to catch up and outpace the player. The effect is likened to stretching and releasing a rubber band between the player and the computer opponent. This effect may also apply to human players as well, with the game providing unstated handicaps for losing players to stay competitive. 2. The result of network latency during a multiplayer game, when the player's location is updated client-side, but the server does not immediately register the change, a player's character may bounce to the appropriate location when the client and server finally synchronize. See lag. Rush. A tactic in strategy games where the player sacrifices economic development in favor of using many low-cost fast, weak units to rush and overwhelm an enemy by attrition or sheer numbers. S Sandbox game A game where the player has the ability to create, modify, or destroy their environment. The term alludes to a child's sandbox where the child can create and destroy with no given objective. A pure sandbox game has no objective except to modify the environment like Minecraft but can be combined with a storyline or a hook to drive players. This differs from an open world where the player is free to roam and approach objectives at any time. Save point Also checkpoint A place in the game world of a video game where a game save can be made. Some games do not have specific save points, allowing the player to save at any point. Save scumming The manipulation of game save states to gain an advantage during play or achieve a particular outcome out of unpredictable events. It is used, for example, in roguelike games that automatically delete any save files when the player character dies. Saved game Also game save, save game, or save file. A file or similar data storage method that stores the state of the game in non-volatile memory, enabling the player to shut down the gaming system and then later restart the device and load the saved game state to continue playing from where they saved. Saved games may also be used to store the game's state before a difficult area that, should the player character die, the player can try again without penalty. Screen cheat the act of looking at other players' areas of the screen when playing split-screen multiplayer, giving the screen cheater an unfair advantage. Score attack A mode of gameplay that challenges the player to earn the highest score possible in a game level or through the whole game. Season 1. The full set of downloadable content that is planned to be added to a video game, which can be entirely purchased with a season pass. 2. A finite period of time in massively multiplayer online games in which new content, such as themes, rules, modes, etc., becomes available, sometimes replacing prior time-limited content. Notable games that use this season system include Star Wars, Battlefront 2 2017, and Fortnite Battle Royale. Season Pass a purchase made in addition to the cost of the base game that generally enables the purchaser access to all downloadable content that is planned for that title without further cost. Secret Character 
a player character that is only available to the player after meeting some sort of requirement, such as beating the game, completing optional challenges, inputting cheat codes or even hacking the game as some secret characters may be intended to not be in the game, but are still present in the game's code. Secret characters may initially appear as NPCs. Secret level a game level that is only accessible to the player by completing specific tasks within the game. These tasks are rarely described in detail to the player, if at all, and are often only found through exploration and trial and error, or even by hacking, if the level was not intended to be in the game, but is still present in the game's code. Compare with bonus stage. Shooter. Also shoot em up, a genre of video game that involves using ranged weapons. See also first person shooter. Shovelware A widely licensed video game released in large volume with little attention to quality. Show mode See attract mode Side quest An optional quest which does not advance the main quest. Simulation video game sim. A game genre that simulates some aspect of reality and is usually open-ended with no intrinsic goal. Inclusive definitions allow for any video game that models reality, such as sports games, while exclusive definitions generally focus on city-building games, vehicle simulation games, or both. Single player A game that can only have one player at a time. Compare with multiplayer Skill tree A character development gaming mechanic typically seen in role-playing games. A skill tree consists of a series of skills sometimes known as perks which can be earned as the player levels up or otherwise progresses their player character. These skills grant gameplay benefits, for example, giving the character the ability to perform a new action, or giving a boost to one of the character's stats. A skill tree is called a tree because it uses a tiered system and typically branches out into multiple paths. A tiered skill tree will require a player to achieve certain skills before the next tier of skills become available. The player may be required to achieve all skills in one tier before moving on to the next, or may only be required to complete prerequisites for individual branches. Skill trees are a common tool used for in-game balancing by game designers. Skill trees also offer a game within a game in which players are not only playing a video game, but their decisions on how they allocate points into their skill trees will affect their overall gaming experience. The action role-playing game Diablo II, released in 2000, is often cited as the true innovator of in-depth skill trees. Skin A customization option for a player's in-game avatar or equipment that changes its appearance. Skins are featured as part of metagame loot drops, with most games rewarding them based on scarcity or by awarding skins for completing certain objectives or placing high in competitive modes. This allows players to use skins to display rare achievements or high skill level. Skirmish mode A game mode in which players can fight immediate battles without having to go through the linear, story-based campaign mode. It is popular in real-time strategy games. Smurf in online multiplayer games that use matchmaking, a smurf is when an experienced player creates a new account to appear new and inexperienced, so they are matched and defeat players who are actually both. The concept is similar to hustling and sandbagging that can be found in gambling and board games. See also twinking. Softlock. A situation where further progress in a game becomes impossible, but the game itself doesn't crash or hard lock. Soft locks can occur as the result of glitches in gameplay, the use of corruptors, sequence breaking, or as a result of poor game design. Sound test A page or option in which the game makes noise to confirm that the player's audio equipment is working and at a good volume. Spawn The place where a character or item is placed in the game world. Also see respawning Spawn camping See camping Specialization a means of selecting certain options for a player character, a weapon, a vehicle, or other in-game item during the course of a game for a specific function, as opposed to selecting a specific character class at the start of the game. Such specialization allows that entity to have access to unique skills or options for that type while denying them access to other options. Some games allow players to re-specialize past choices for some in-game cost and pursue a different specialization. Speedrun an attempt to complete a game as fast as possible. 
Depending on the rules for the speedrun, players may exploit glitches or bugs in the game to speed their progress. Splash damage Attacks with an explosive or other area of effect component deal splash damage, affecting the area around the attack's impact. Splash damage is particularly useful against game targets that dodge well. However, splash damage weapons are also dangerous since they can damage the shooter and are not preferred in close quarters combat. Such weapons are typically aimed at an opponent's feet, this ensures that the impact point is near enough for splash damage to cover the opponent in the event that the shot misses. Split-screen multiplayer A game that presents two or more views seen by different players in a multiplayer game on the same display unit. Stage Sea level Stat point a discrete number of points for the player to distribute among their character's attributes, e.g., to choose their player's trade-offs between strength, charisma, and stamina. Status effect An overarching term that covers both buffs and debuffs. Essentially, any effect to a character that is outside of the normal baseline is a status effect. Common negative status effects are poisoning damage over time, petrification, paralysis inability to move, or armor damage reduction lowering of defensive, offensive abilities. Common positive status effects include a heal over time a small, pulsing heal that triggers multiple times over a set period, armor damage increases, or speed increases. Strafing To move sideways, often to dodge incoming attacks. See also circle strafing. Strategy guide Printed or online manuals that are written to guide players through a game, typically offering maps, lists of equipment, moves, abilities, enemies, and secrets, and providing tips and hints for effective play strategies. Strategy video game A game genre which emphasizes consideration and planning to achieve victory. Subgenres include real-time strategy, turn-based strategy and wargames. Subgame See minigame Super boss An optional super powerful boss, typically more powerful and harder to beat than the game's main final boss. T Teamkill The killing of teammates through destruction or damage done to allies, such as through deliberate shooting of teammates. Team killing is often identified as unsportsmanlike behavior. Related to the military term, fragging. Technology tree, also tech tree. A branching series of technologies that can be researched in strategy games, to customize the player's faction. See also skill tree. Telefrag, a frag or kill which occurs when a player uses a teleporter to get to a location occupied by another character. This character is killed and the player character landing on them is granted credit for the kill. Telegraphing Animations are similar visual and audible indicators that indicate to a player what actions an opponent will take. Often used as part of computer-controlled artificial intelligence to help the player avoid or block attacks or make counter-attacks. Test room A secret level that is used by developers to test the movements, actions and control of a game's player characters, which is usually removed from the game once it is finished. Theory See Game Studies and Theorycraft. Theorycraft The analysis of a video game to mathematically determine the most optimal approach to winning the game, typically in games that feature a number of player character attributes that are enumerated. One common type of theorycraft is determining how to best maximize damage per second through selection of equipment and skills. See also Min Maxing. Third person point of view A view where the player character is seen on screen. Thumbstick See analog stick Tick An increment of damage or healing periodically caused by a dot or hot effect. Tilt When a player gets angry at someone or something, often resulting in reduced quality of play. Usually used in the game League of Legends. Time attack A game mode that challenges players to complete a level or the game within a fixed amount of game time or in the fastest time possible. Often the best times are recorded for other players to see. Timed exclusive When a game releases exclusively for one platform but will release for other platforms when the exclusivity period expires. Title screen 
The initial screen of a computer, video, or arcade game after the credits and logos of the game developer and publisher are displayed. Early title screens often included all the game options available single player, multiplayer, configuration of controls, etc. while modern games have opted for the title screen to serve as a splash screen. This can be attributed to the use of the title screen as a loading screen, in which to cache all the graphical elements of the main menu. Older computer and video games had relatively simple menu screens that often featured pre-rendered artwork. In arcade games, the title screen is shown as part of the attract mode loop, usually after a game demonstration is played. The title screen and high score list urge potential players to insert coins. In console games, especially if the screen is not merged with the main menu, it urges the player to press start. Similarly, in computer games, the message, hit any key, is often displayed. Controls that lack an actual start button use a different prompt. The Wii, for example, usually prompts to press the A button and the B trigger simultaneously, as in Super Mario Galaxy 2 or Mario Party 9. Fan-made games often parody the style of the title that inspired them. Touchscreen A form of user input that relies on physical touch, rather than a mouse, keyboard or other control method. Toxicity Slang for a rude and unwelcoming gamer or gaming community who detriments the experience for other players or developers. Trackball a form of a video game controller, most often found on arcade game cabinets, in which the player uses a freely rotating ball to interact with the game. Trash pull Usually a practice commonly used in MMORPGs, of how many enemies a team can summon to the battlefield to fight at one time. Triple A See Triple A Triple jump An additional jump that follows the second in quick succession. Turn-based game when a game consists of multiple turns. When one player's turn is complete, they must wait until everyone else has finished their turn. Twinking A practice in MMORPGs of equipping a low-level character with items or resources not normally available to new characters, by transfer from high-level characters. Twitch Twitch is a live streaming video platform owned by Twitch Interactive, a subsidiary of Amazon. The site primarily focuses on video game live streaming, including broadcasts of esports competitions, in addition to music broadcasts, creative content, and more recently, in real life, streams. Content on the site can be viewed either live or via video on demand. U Underpowered a character, item, tactic, or ability considered to be too weak to be balanced. Underworld A collection of isolated dungeon or cave-like levels which are connected by an open overworld. Unlock Gaining access to previously unavailable content in a video game by fulfilling certain conditions. Upgrade A way to make the given item, character, etc. more powerful. Topic. V Vaporware Video games which are announced and appear in active development for some time but are never released nor officially cancelled. Video game design The process of designing a video game, including content and game mechanics. Video streaming Transmitting a video game to a computer or mobile device is required in lieu of downloading and installing the entire game. An advantage of streaming games is that the game can be picked up on another device and continued at the place the gamer stopped. The practice became popular in the mid-2010s on sites such as Twitch and later, YouTube. Professional streamers often combine high-level play and entertaining commentary, and earn income from sponsors, subscriptions, and donations. Amateur streamers spend long hours competing for an audience. Virtual Reality Virtual reality VR is an interactive computer-generated experience taking place within a simulated environment, that incorporates mainly auditory and visual, but also other types of sensory feedback like haptic. This immersive environment can be similar to the real world or it can be fantastical, creating an experience that is not possible in ordinary physical reality. 
Current VR technology most commonly uses virtual reality headsets or multi-projected environments, sometimes in combination with physical environments or props, to generate realistic images, sounds and other sensations that simulate a user's physical presence in a virtual or imaginary environment. A person using virtual reality equipment is able to look around the artificial world, move around in it, and interact with virtual features or items. Visual novel A genre of video games with interactive stories. These games typically use static imagery, anime-styled character art, and detailed backgrounds, with character dialogue presented in text boxes. Players may define the outcome of the story by choosing from a small list of actions, such as when speaking with someone, choosing a pre-written sentence in response to them after their dialogue. Topic W Walking Simulator A derogatory term sometimes used to classify exploration games, which generally involve exploring an environment for story and narrative but with few, if any, puzzles or gameplay elements. Walkthrough A description of the gameplay experience for a level or playthrough, intended to guide players who are unsure how to complete it. See also Strategy Guide Wall jump A jump performed off of a vertical surface to propel the player higher in the opposite direction. Wall jumps can be done between two tight walls in quick succession to climb vertically in some games. As a special jump, it is sometimes an acquired skill instead of available from the game's start. Wall humping search A technique used to actively search for hidden interactive points in the game environment by strafing against walls and repeatedly pressing the control used to interact with non-hidden points until something happens. The first use of this technique was with early first-person shooter games like Wolfenstein 3D and Doom, which were littered with unmarked switches and secret doors that could otherwise only be found by accident or by purchasing a strategy guide. The term is a specific reference to the sounds made by the Doom guy when using this technique. Wallhack A cheat that makes walls translucent. Some wallhacks let players shoot weapons or physically pass through walls. See Noclip Wanted Level a game mechanic popularized by the Grand Theft Auto series and used in many Grand Theft Auto clone games. A player's actions in an open world game may cause non-player characters, often representing law enforcement, to chase the player, with the response becoming more significant at higher wanted levels. The wanted level persists unless the player can elude these opponents, or if the character dies, eliminating the wanted level. Warp Zone a shortcut that allows a player to bypass one or more sections of the game. See Fast Travel. WASD Keys A common control mechanism using a typical QWERTY keyboard, with the W, A, S, and D keys bound to movement controls. This allows arrow key-like control with the left hand. Wave in game genres or modes where players are to defend a point or stay alive as long as possible, enemies are commonly grouped into waves sometimes referred to as levels. When one wave of enemies is defeated, players are typically given a short period to prepare for the next wave. Whale In free-to-play games, a user that spends a considerable amount of real-world money for in-game items, rather than acquiring said items through grinding or playing the game normally. These players are typically seen as the largest segment for revenue production for free-to-play titles. White Whales may also be used to describe exceptionally high spenders. Borrowed from gambling jargon, a whale, in that context, is a person who makes extravagant wagers or places reckless bets. White mage A type of character's role in a RPG and MMORPG. Their primary role is to support the main fighters, giving them support buffs and healing. Putting them in the back rather than the front line is usually the required setting, as they have less health, attack prowess. When quote, a phrase spoken by a fighting game character after defeating an opponent. In older games, such as Fatal Fury and traditionally in 2D fighting games such as Capcom vs. SNK, it is not an actual voice sample but text superimposed on an image of the winning character, occasionally depicted alongside the visibly injured defeated character Street Fighter 2 for example. Win quotes are often little more than trash talk, but they help players to understand and identify with the characters.
In most games, characters have one or more win quotes that they use indiscriminately, but sometimes special win quotes are used in special circumstances. For example, in The King of Fighters 94, each character has special win quotes against each of the eight teams. In Street Fighter Alpha, players can choose one of four win quotes by holding certain button combinations after winning a battle. In Street Fighter 3, Giant Attack, characters sometimes use special win quotes if they finish the battle with a certain move, and in SNK vs. Capcom, Match of the Millennium, players can input their own win quotes in edit mode. Some win quotes have characters break the fourth wall, such as Chun Li's Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter win quote, in which she suspects the game is set on the easiest difficulty setting, or are in jokes referring to other video games, like Sakura's Street Fighter Alpha 3 win quote, in which she says she prefers street fighting to sparring in rival schools. Wipe an attack from the boss, in which the said boss completely knocks out the entire party. Mostly in massively multiplayer online role-playing games World A series of levels that share a similar environment or theme. A boss fight will typically happen once all or most of these levels are completed rather than after each individual level. Wrapping Camera wrapping is a technique often used in video games, which allows a player to move in a straight line and get back to where they started. This was more often used in older games to make it seem that the player is moving up or down an extremely high hill. Memory can be saved by using wrapping instead of creating a larger area filled with impassable walls. Wrapping is also used to make a 2D game world round, for example, in Pac-Man exiting the game screen to the right wraps the player to the same position on the left side of the screen. Similarly, in Final Fantasy VII, exiting the game map to the right wraps the player to the same position on the left side of the map, and exiting the map to the top wraps the player to the bottom of the map. X XP See Experience Point why YouTube bait games that are made for an audience games created with youtubers or twitch streamers in mind see let's play topic Z zerging gameplay that utilizes overwhelming numbers rather than skill or strategy see also rush Zero Day Patch A software patch that is set to be released on the day of the game's official release. The zeroth day. Reflecting updates and fixes that were added after the game has gone gold. Zero Player Game Also CPU versus CPU A game that has no sentient players and only has CPUs. Zone Sea World Zone a section of a MUD or MMO's shared environment within which communications may be limited or game mechanics altered to encourage certain types of gameplay. <laughs>